just be happy. Another win, um, another step forward probably in the performance. Not complete, but you're getting results at the moment. I don't think you'll ever hear me say it's a complete performance, to be honest. I thought we ground out a win against a very good team, by the way. Let's not get mistaken. It was a, a challenging game for various reasons. Obviously, we wanted to get our first win at home uh, because we drew our last game at Newcastle. They've come off a bad result, probably a bad performance in the eyes of the manager, and uh, they were looking for a reaction. I think they got a reaction. I think it was a very physical game. Um, I think it was good quality at times. I thought in the first half we were a little bit passive. I thought we got into really good areas and then we let ourselves down with our decision making which happens at times and I just said to him you've got to believe you can win this game the first goal is always going to be crucial if you if they score it they have something to hang on to if we score it then obviously the game comes on our terms and I think that's what happened you still feel as though you're searching for the right mix up forward up front yeah. or well you know sometimes as a coach you you always look at what you would like rather than what you have. Uh, and I know the forwards that I've got with, with Coxie, with Kwame, with Ali Orgler, who's, who's a young forward, and Bernie possibly can play up there, as well as Juki, who's in quarantine. So uh, I think we've got a good mix. I don't want two forwards the same. I don't think our forwards are the same, which is important. You know, at times we'll play with one, at times we'll play with two, and at times we'll play with three, with a back four. So having the variation of, of the profiles of them players helps. Um, but do I want... Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, of course you do, but it's never going to happen. Well, it's probably not going to happen. Um, so, but I, I'm delighted with the forwards, and they got the reward today. Um, the, the guys you took off at half time, um, yeah. Were they injured or were you just taking? No, Brucey. Brucey had a tight groin, um, and Brucey's very, uh, if I can say, delicate. He understands his body very well, and as a coach, you got to trust your players sometimes. And I didn't want to take any risks. It was his first start for me after making a, a massive impact on the weekend. So I listened to Brucey and the same with Jimmy as well. Jimmy had a tight hamstring and uh, I didn't want to take any risks with Jimmy either. So I made the decision. You know, we got that window and, and the boys who come on obviously had a big impact in the game as well, which is important. Are they in, in any doubt for the, for the next game? I, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see, you know, based upon the conversation I had with them both, I think it's more precaution rather than actually injury. So, Carl, up to third now, you've got Mitch Duke and, and Jordan Much to add to a pretty healthy squad. Do you feel as though you're ready to, to take a step up now as a group and, and maybe make a bit of a statement? Well, yes, hopefully, but I think all teams are the same. I think they're, you know, teams are trying to find their way in the early part of the season and trying to find a rhythm and a groove. Some have done that already uh, and they're doing very well. We're sort of a mixed bag. We are doing it at stages and periods of games and said, are we doing it for 90 minutes? No, we're not. And, and that's why you're the reason you train every day and try and be complete because when you get that complete performance, but what happens then is once you have a complete performance and the manager says he's complete, the next game is probably after the Lord May show, which is disappointing for everyone. So you've got to be careful what you wish for. I think a performance with a positive result and fantastic effort and commitment from those boys in there, um, which are growing each day, yeah, is all I can ask. Can I ask about Keanu Backus? Um, yep. Just first of what you think of his form at the moment. And there are so many options in central midfield for the Oli Roos. He obviously helped Australia qualify for that tournament. Where do you think he sits in the scheme of of central midfielders that Graham Arnold has available. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't like to be Graham Arnold picking, uh, to be honest, because there's some fantastic young players in that area. So good luck, Graham. Um, but I've got one of the best. Uh, Keanu is fantastic. First of all, he's a fantastic person. He's a great kid to work with. He wants to learn. He's always asking questions, which you want as a coach. Second thing is he commits to his work. And if he commits to his work, nine times out of ten, you get the reward in life in general, in any job you do. And he wants to grow. He is developing. He, he makes little mistakes. He does the hard things very, very well, which players can't do, and he does the simple things not so well. My job is to teach him the simple things to be more consistent with them. And, and also, when, when you're a player, and probably I'm a little bit harsh on the midfield players because I played there for, for many years, is the details are the most important thing. So I'm trying to teach him what I want and require from him tactically without taking away from his strengths, which he's got phenomenal strengths in the game. So it's a polished performance by him today. So good luck, Graham. I'm sure you'd like to have him in your midfield for as long as you're at this club, um, yep. Carl. But he's looked at overseas options before, and he looks like he's, you know, he's now one of the A League's best players, probably in, in midfield. Do you think he's ready for that next step in his career, potentially end of this season or, or even sooner? Who knows? Well, do I think he could play over there? Yes, I do. Um, my background is over there, so I know all the profiles that players need uh, have and are needed over there. He's got that. You know, but I say to all players, it's what's important is when you go, 
and I don't know what, what, when players decide to go and whether it's early, young or in, later on, go and stay. That is the key to it because if you go there and it doesn't work out and you come back, then sometimes people look at you a little bit differently. You might get more money back here, but <laughs> you're not going for that reason. When you go and, and the, the top Australian players that go have stayed there, for 10 years and carved out a career over there. And I think that's important. And I can help him with that. You know, I don't know when he's going to go, to be honest, but I want him to go at some stage. But at the moment, he's fantastic for this football club and I'll keep him as long as I can. Um, and on to just the game tonight again. Um, what were your thoughts on the, the penalty? You don't see too many actions like that. Um, well, I, th I think it was a penalty, I have to say. Um, my point to Ben, the fourth official, was is it a yellow card? Because, first of all, you know, we, we send our regards to uh, the boy Rojas. Obviously, he's in that, picked up a nasty injury, I believe, and, and it was an accidental one from Do Doran. So, you know, uh, we'll go and check on him. We hope he's OK because we don't want that, you know, nasty injuries to happen. And it was an ac accident, as we all know. But he got a yellow card for it, and rightly so, because it's dangerous play. I think it's dangerous play again in the, in the box as well. But uh, I won't tell you what he said to me. So I'll maybe sit on the fence with that one. You can ask him of why it wasn't. Hey, just on one. Yeah. Oh, another another clean sheet. You must be uh, happy with the defensive side of things with the team. I am, yeah, really, and, and I'm glad you asked that because everyone talks about the forwards and the scoring goals, uh, which we scored two tonight, but I think they forget about Margs and, and the back three or the back five, which we play sometimes out of possession. So they deserve a lot of credit. You know, I've, Ziggy was a new signing before the season. I think he's been phenomenal, his performances. Patrick's coming to the team and played two consecutive games in three days. Uh, and the young kid, Natter, is growing and growing each game, and he's been a breath of fresh air. That's not including Dylan and, and Tass, who've been out um, and started the season for a number of games at the start of the year, as well as Kankar. So I'm really pleased with that. That is, the, the successful teams are built on foundations at the back, and I think we're slowly doing that. We can be better. I still don't like when we get done one-twos around the box and you, you lose runners. That's a concentration thing. But the, the, the main foundations at the moment are being laid. Now it's the details within them that we need to improve on. But we need to keep going and not, hopefully not concede too many goals.